Hello everyone, welcome to the rigging part of the tutorial. Please feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions or if I'm doing things that are a bit unclear. In order to control our character's movements, we need bones. So we go to the Add drop-down menu, select Armature, then select Single Bone, select the bone, then go to Edit Mode and press S to scale and G to grab, or move the bones. Press Shift D to duplicate the bones. This will be the neck bone. Then click on the node of the bone and press E to extrude another bone for the head. Press Shift D again to duplicate the bone. Then press S to scale. Then duplicate again two times. This will be our pupil and top and bottom eyelid controllers. Select the bone and press F2 to name the bones. This is important since it helps in identifying the function and the name of object that it's supposed to control. For the bones to control the character, we need to parent the grease pencil object to the bones so we select the object, then the bone, and press Ctrl P, then select Armature Deform with empty groups. Select the character, then in Edit Mode, select the eyelid, then go to the Vertex Group section. Here you will see the names of the bones. Select the bone name, then click Assign. Now this bone will control the top eyelid. Select the bottom eyelid, then do the same. For the head, go to the head layer. Then click on multi-frame. Go to the timeline and press the shortcut A to select all the keyframes. Also press A on the viewport to select all the strokes. Make sure you turn on the onion skins to see if all the head drawings on that layer are selected. Go to the head bone and click Assign. Go to the eye layer and also do the same. We do this so that the bones can manipulate every drawing in the keyframes at the same time. To make the bones transparent, go to the Data Property tab, then Viewport Display, then select Display as Wire. Select the bones, then in Pose Mode Test to see if they are working. The pupils are not following the head bone to solve this. We will have to make the head bone the parent of the pupil bone. So we go to edit mode, select the pupil bone, then shift, select the head bone, then press Ctrl P, keep offset. Now the head bone is the parent of the pupil bone and it can control the pupil bone when it moves. Also parent the eyelid bones so that they can follow the head bone. For the mouth control, go to the Add Modifiers tab, then Edit, and select Time Offset. Go to Mode and change to Fixed Frame. Right-click on Frame, then select Add Driver, then set VAR to Multiply by 10. Set object as armature and bone. Select the head turn bone that we have made, then go to space and change to local space. Now
Now select our armature or bones. Go to pose mode and test to see if it works. In order for it to move fast, go back to the time offset modifier and increase the VAR multiplication value. Now if we move the bone, the head turn animation changes a bit quicker now. I set the shapes of the bones manually, but you can also use the Bone Widget Blender add-on, which is easier and also free. By selecting the bones and going to Edit Mode or Pose Mode, we can also put rigs in their own collections by pressing the shortcut M or going to Bone Collections over here and click on the plus icon to create new collections, then click Assign. I usually use the shortcut M to move each bone to their collections since it's quicker. You can also click on the negative icon to delete the collections, and click on the eye icon to hide some bones. This will make the viewport a little bit cleaner while rigging. To add audio files or sound to your animation, go to Editor Type and change the Editor Type from 3D Viewport to Video Sequencer. Go to Add drop-down menu, then Sound. This will take you to your audio files, then Select. Press K to cut the sound strip and X to delete. You can also right-click to see other editing options. Go back to the 3D viewport. Play to see if the sound is applied. Go to playback, then check. Scrubbing this will enable you to hear the audio while you hover over the timeline. All right, so it's time for the animation. Change from Grease Pencil Mode to Dope Sheet Mode. After creating the mouth shapes, select the keyframes then. Go to Key Interpolation Mode, then select Constant. This removes any auto-in-betweens that are generated between the keyframes. All right, if you want to add effects after you are done, go to the Effects tab, Add Effect, and select the effects you want to apply. To render your animation to an MP4 video file, go to Output. Here you can change the format, frame range, go to output then select the containing folder, set file format as FFMPEG, video encoding container as MPG4, video codec as MPEG4 then if you have audio set to MP3. Alive, I tell you! I want to run in a stream! I want to taste ice cream, but not just put it in my mouth and let it slide down my throat, but really eat it! What the- I want to be alive! I am alive! Alive, I tell you! I want to run in a stream! I want to taste ice cream, but not just put it in my mouth and let it slide down my throat, but really eat it! What the